Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're in Switzerland, just about. We're on the north side of the tunnel, the Simplon Tunnel. There goes one of our... That's one of our commuters, isn't it, that goes to Sierre and Sion. We have an abundance of skyscrapers in the distance. Not very Swiss-like, but our trains are starting to look the part, which is what we care about. Uh, I mean, the rest of it's nice as well. Some of it does lean to be somewhat Swissified. I'm sticking with that word. Anyway, today we've got a busy one. It's going to be playing with toys. Lots of them. Uh, I'm trying to see if the, there we go. There's a clue to what's happening or a, a straight up answer. We have different gondolas. And we also have different every other freight wagon possible. They snuck by me. It was mentioned in the comments a few few episodes ago. But they might have been off the screen or I completely blanked them for whatever reason. But anyway, what does that mean today? Well, I changed a few of them already because it's a bit long-winded. However, we will change some together so you can take a look at them. And uh, that's going to increase all of our freight network by 20 kilometers an hour. If it can get up to speed, most of them trundle around and do freighty type maneuvers anyway. But when they are on the main line, not only are they going to be slightly quicker if they can get up to speed, but they'll also be shorter by quite a margin as well. I've left one the same so we can compare the lengths and capacity. Yeah, we're going to have to tweak all of that. So there's a lot to do. Shall we start off? giving this one a bit of a refresh here our current capacity these are the ones we threw on the end our current capacity is 208 our current length is 281 meters these the locos we have on the front i believe they can do over 120 let's go and double check it is what are these are they these i thought they were those re 460s they might be the 465s 465 that's the one and they do 200. Well in excess of what we can actually do, but I like them. We've got the power, haven't we? What we need to do is get our new boxcars on there. They take tools, they take goods. They're specialized. We've got flat cars as well with side stakes. We've also got new tankers. Unfortunately, we lose the pretties here with the SBs. Oh, what have they got? SBB and FS and NS. Anyway, should we get these on? Right, you're empty at the moment. Let's see how many we need to get on. We could bring Dolly in, for instance, just as a comparison down below. That would be handy. We could even colour them, couldn't we? What are they carrying? Tools? No. Machines, which is grey, which is those. And goods currently, so uh, we could go with a, an orange. Perhaps it's a bit garish. These do 160 kilometers an hour? Wow, the gondolas only do 100 and... No, they do 160 as well. I take it back, guys. My info at the beginning was incorrect. I said we gained 20 kilometers an hour. We, in fact, gained 40. If we can get up to that speed. The gondolas are super heavy. Uh, I say we leave it like that, then. Maybe we can squeeze one more on. Well, we can leave our options open. Let's uh, modify that. In fact, let's modify this one as well. Since we're in Dolly, you get a refresh. Uh, we'll start with a couple of these on this one. And then we'll check them out in black, since they were in black before. I guess we can just have the rest on. Let's modify those two. It's going to cost us about 40 million. It's all right, though, isn't it? There we go. All right, let's take a look at him come in and load up. He won't be unloading, I don't think. There's no machines to drop off here. So, yeah, that was uh, that was much better than I was expecting. For some reason, I thought that it was only an upgrade to 140 kilometers an hour. Uh, hence the math faux pas, shall we call it. But, yeah, it's 160. That is lovely. Shorter, shorter freight trains. Uh, capacity's around the same. And uh, they're a bit speedier. These ones, these are running now more like express freight. That's less time. Their back ends are hanging over junctions. 
Uh, it's also less time they're on the track. Yeah, look at them slide open. That is wonderful. All the goods going in there. That might change how this works because the frequency is going to be uh, much better, isn't it? I'm looking forward to seeing how that pans out. We might as well change the other one then as well to get them all matching. There's a nice little plane there in the distance taking off from Domo's airport. Let's uh, manage the vehicles then. We'll get Chuck and give him a new set of wagons. He was multicolored rainbow, wasn't he? Maybe we can do something similar. 19 million, nearly 20. You're still colorful, Chuck. You're still colorful. Rock and rolling it over there. So that's that done. How are our buses doing out here? What were these? These were one of the Mazes, I think, weren't they? The Maz? I think so. We've still got you to do. Who are you? Train 6. You don't even have a name. We'll get round to naming them. Don't drop them in the comments. We'll have another live stream and finish off that for the end of the series. And uh, take a look at each of the trains. I'll go away and do these separately. They do take a long time. We'll say goodbye to this consist for the last time. When we come back in the next episode, I will have changed this one. It takes a lot of faffing around, so I'm leaving it as is. We can have a little bit of a comparison in a second. It's looking rough, isn't it? Which is good, because they're about to be changed. I like them, though. I hope I've got some newer ones installed in the same vein. They might even still be usable on the shunting line. Should we compare them? Let's get to these two, Sheriff Roscoe and Train 6. Well, they do have a limit of 140 kilometers an hour. I wasn't seeing things. What's capping it is the loco itself. Does that mean we should have newer locos? I mean, these are beefy, but I don't think they're quite beefy enough. Let's have a look at the RE66 in compare. Oh dear, uh, we haven't got enough room. Let's drop that down. There we go. Beefy power and a lot more attractive effort, but slower. Very freight train. This one's a little speedier, although they're not far off, are they? They're absolutely not far off. The 456, that ain't going to cut it. I'm happy with that. We'll lose 20 kilometers an hour. I don't think we'll get up to that anyway. They're, they're beefy trains. Right, that's that done. We've got all of our goods trains changed over. Also, oh, there goes one of our new consists. Should we see it go over the uh, level crossing here? I'll tell you what. We'll even hide the UI and the mouse. There it is. BLS. With the new wagons on. I don't know what the juttering is. Because it's not the actual frame rate. If you can see in the distance. The cars are smooth. The train itself is juttering. That's why your cab rides look a bit weird sometimes. And stuttery. It's nothing to do with the frame rate. Sometimes. Sometimes it is. But yeah, they'll stutter on certain bits of track. I don't know what that's all about. But anyway, let's not dwell on it. We are going to head back over to Sierra Food. Remember we put the nondescript trucks on because the MANs didn't have an option to take both grain and food. Well, Jones, the author of the MAN mod, has been kind enough to change that for us. He didn't have to. I mean, I was happy to accept it, but uh, yes, we can get away with it now. So if we go into here, we go into cargo. This window is absolutely huge now. I'll take it. MAN F2000. Now, which one is it? Well, it's the one that works, isn't it? There we go. Cargo types. The container trucks. Should we change them to these? Why not? We're doing it. Are these running half empty? Well, no, they're about full, aren't they? I think it's just skewed when we had different trucks on. Instead of umming and ahhing grand, why not see what you can see and see what the frequency and rate are. Then we've almost got them lined up perfectly. Let's clone one of those. We'll get you in. See if that's uh, balanced it out a little better. Actually, the frequency might have been better anyway. I don't know what's going on there. We'll see. What are you taking the grain in? You're taking them in tanks. Yes? I mean, I guess that works, right? We don't care. It's just uh, another truck on the roads that looks a bit different. I like that. Are you going to be overkill now? 
I think you are. I don't know what's going on this side. I guess because they're... I don't know. I don't know why they're doing that. Oh, the frequency was better. No, no, the frequency was better here. They should be using these. I'm pretty sure. In fact, I'm super confident now. Yeah, look, we've really nailed the frequency. 85 seconds versus 116 seconds. Rate 325, and yet, they seem to be preferring that, although I don't know now. I wish there was some way to know where this was delivering to. Consumers? No, it doesn't really say, does it? Because this is just the buildings themselves. Charts? No. Nothing. What I would like to see is if you clicked on this and there's a tab up here, maybe in consumers or here, where it's showing you how much it's producing or dedicating to a line. That would be nice as a breakdown, wouldn't it? Part of the problem might be the mix of trucks and stuff. I think we're going to get on top of it. How much do you carry? 42 and you carry 38. These even carry more is ideal okay maybe maybe anyway let's not ponder on that any further what trucks do we have running this i thought so should we give them new trucks i think so replace all it's going to be a little excessive to start with but then we'll uh, we'll knock it back a bit there we go 17 million which is ridiculous amount of trucks for this <laughs> i think what we'll do they're already backing up anyway look at that that's pleasant let's get rid of you we can sell so many of these i know i could have sold them preemptively these do wait until full so we'll be able to tell straight away how much we've oversupplied with trucks i'm just going to guess quite a lot but we might as well come back and check on that we might be able to come back and check a little bit later uh, before the end of the episode yeah we've got two trucks cu coming up now let's get rid of that one as well saving us a fortune in trucks but we've got one coming up down there so let's get rid of you yeah i don't want to sell the ones that are already got stuff on them we need to do something with this hook it up to the rail network would be ideal and head off that way to give you an idea of what we'll be doing here we might as well make the track oh there's a giveaway to what i did over the other side what tracks I was using. This is what's going to happen at this tunnel here. I do want to keep it quite nippy. We don't really want to be slowing down, do we? And I do want to keep it flat if possible. There we go. That's going to head off round like that. Let's keep it, what was it, 100 there. Yeah, so we can keep it 100 here. And what I want you to do is hook into there. Is it almost 100? It's almost 100. Look at that. I do want this to come down, though, a little bit. And if we can keep it at 100, I'd love it. I don't know why 100. I've just chosen that. Will that work? Is that 100? It is. Uh, yes, I think that's it. There's our connection. We shouldn't have any trains that use this just yet. That gives you an idea of what's going to go on over here. And it will be one way, heading that way. One way. Click on the one way. You've also not uh, Katina refied it. That's a, that's a term. There we go. In preparation. It won't be doing it for now. Uh, we could change those over as well, couldn't we now? That would be nice. Change that. Change that. Let's have some uh, Swissified signals on here. I guess they can go that side. They do kind of squeeze in quite nicely, don't they? In between the tracks there, without too much worry of them scraping alongside our trains. Right, and then let's go to these. We're going to go with the next one's green. On the fast one. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. And this one will do something like that. That should do the trick. There we go. That's nice, isn't it? We've Swissified a couple more signals. And we may as well Swissify this one as well. Oh, I should have checked if you're a waypoint. Matters not. You're in now. Or you're gone now, I should say. Right, one there. 
and we'll put another K in. I like these signals. The trains are not going to do what these say on them. Someone kindly posted a whole list of what these mean. Uh, so if you want to check back in the previous episode and go down in the comments, I think it was previous episode, uh, you'll see a whole list of what all of these signals mean. I might prepare some sort of document and go through them. It's not what happens for us, but uh, it is an option. This is a proposed line that is actually going to be built. It may even be built already. I was informed that's what they're going to do, I think. How we'd go the other way if we wanted to, we could come off here. Uh, it would struggle with a passenger line. What we could do is have one, a local commuter running from Sion to Sierre to Frutigen and then into Speets and turning around. Can we get across from Speets onto this line? We can't, so we'd have to skip running back, which would be bizarre. Uh, yeah, I don't know how we'd have to work that. It seems a bit excessive to have something going over the top. And um, we could, we could maybe cross over. No, that would be silly. We could do something this way, maybe. I'm just not sure how we'd get down to here, which is what we'd have to do. Anyway, there's something we can think about later. There we go, there's our old track. It's old high speed rail. Well, there's a break in the track there just to um, just to break it up a bit really that's what i went with oh what's happened to you why are you sitting there is that not oh that's not actual track well that's weird yeah this is uh not part of the the yard there oh i need to fix that i will fix that it is possible just have to add a couple more pieces of tracking i never noticed that i guess it didn't matter before that's not right though is it we could be udged right up there and we might be able to redo that section hopefully it's just cheesed off that train in a big way if we go to where's our tracks can we put them in there possibly if we get rid of that section these probably need new signals anyway if we can do this it'll be kind of lovely is they'll pull right up, won't they, to the end then. There we go. Hopefully it's not going to be too much of an issue. Does it wiggle too much at that point? Construction not possible is what it does. Well, we can get rid of that and that. Let's redraw that section there. I would like to keep that section connected. The question is, can we still do this little bit coming off? Uh, we can to what did we get there 44 is the best we can do i think 44 i'll take 44 but there's a little bit of distance away now i like that that's a little tidier and what can we do guys that's right we can get our swiss signals in here i'm just going to go with threes this is now going to be one way so nothing can come in here accidentally that might bite me later on there we go there we go is that electrified? I can't tell. It might not be. Did I turn electrification off? Yeah, you did. Don't do that, Gran. You make a mess of it. Right, electrify. Oh, you can't? What do you mean construction not possible? See, you should have done it first time around. And then you wouldn't have this issue. Just do that again then. But this time, leave the catenary on. Catenary, fire that. Catenary, fire that. There we go. Will it work? Let's hope so. Because we had 40, 46. Okay, we've gained some speed. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> I don't know how that works, but we did. I'm pretty sure it was only 44 before. Okay, now, since he's here and has concertined up and is a right mess now, manage vehicle. We can get those new side stakes on, can't we? But let's see. You currently have a capacity of 273. You do 120. What, what have we got pulling this? I believe it's this, which does 140. I'm going to change that for one of these now. I would like the top speed. It doesn't quite need to be that quick, but uh, I think that's the best option for us. Yeah, 200 seems excessive, but uh, let's put it on and then we'll get new wagons on here. 
we gain an extra multiplier on that so that is lovely right i'm just going to put these on in uh, default colors what sort of capacity do we want i think it was like 200 and something there we go well that says excellent do we want to put another one on maybe 255 meters let's see how it does shall we i don't think that's your length Ooh, i couldn't remember what the horn was like there's our we've still got an re44 yeah, shunting that eternally how long are you have i gone overboard in fact you're quite short that's pleasant i like that because it means they can pull up behind each other up here but we'll take a look at them coming around here in the sunset that's what we've got enabled again these are fantastic aren't they they just about get around there oh and there we go another one we've got some new oil tankers to put on there as well are we going to get around to that i hope so don't see why not in fact we'll wait until he drops them off this guy needs the new hoppers on well it's all go isn't it this will be nice i think we could shrink that down and we've fortunately got a couple of these running what we can do is get this up and have a comparison next to each other we'll keep the same train on we'll get rid of these it doesn't make any difference what that says until you hit modify that would make a bit of a difference and be terrible so our new tankers they're the old ones 15 120 kilometers three times loading four times loading they're going to be gray this time i mean why not we'll have what's the capacity are we going with 330 maybe go the same let's go one more for luck it'll take it slightly over and they're slightly quicker and they're a lot shorter 45 meters shorter in fact should we just do it like that 320 that's a great deal shorter we're already over anyway with these so yeah i like that we'll do the same on here maybe we'll color these blue i don't know why they would be blue maybe like a garish orange i don't know we'll put them on let's see how it looks there we go lots of money being spent today on fancy new trains there's our new consist now uh, this has got the default colors on well in fact if we get over here we might see the little commuter come over that'd be beautiful wouldn't it there we go we'll sit there and hide the ui there's our new consist you can see our trains pulling into uh, the new interlaken station interlaken ost there's a lot of detail on those oil tankers isn't that beautiful guys i don't know whether you'll get up to speed the commuter's not here we've still got a little village to add for that commuter line it seems to be doing or well, where you're not going to find out without the ui it's doing 100 and what's that 15 up here it's a bit wiggly maybe we can sort that out still got to upgrade the light but upgrade them side grade them to swiss from french there we go past 122 kilometers an hour 23 waiting for a path of course you are why wouldn't you be what are you waiting for oh yes well you'll be running faster as well it's not too bad is it should we have a little look yeah i like that there we go 132 133 we were creeping up behind it as well so that may have had something to do with it uh, 100 and, do we hit 100 and, ooh, 140 just we just tickled it i'll take it i'll take it we still need to do like an extra part here but i've now gone and detailed it up like a burk i mean i guess i can delete it it'll be fine i would have liked that to drift off sooner uh the freight line to bypass and go past at a, a nippier speed well whatever speed that is really we only need to match don't we what speed do we come out of there uh, speedy speed 83 yes 83 because that one's the the sidings access 80 80 is all we need to do i think that's all we need to worry about but 80 is fine 80 there as well that's almost perfect it's almost like you planned it grand but i think up here oh there's the new color actually it's not garish at all that is lovely it's just a hint just a hint of orange yellow whatever color that is peach i don't know peach with well, a carrying peach juice you made that sound appetizing grand 
Don't hire me for advertising. What speed do we do in here? Oh, no. Nothing needs to change. You do 94. 70. Okay, maybe we could slightly improve it. But it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. All right, you do about 70 through there then. And now that you're shorter, you're going to scoot around there quite nippily, aren't you? Yeah, you'll be quite nippy around there. What's going on here? Are you building all sorts of weird roads? I mean, why not? You do you. There's our, there's our other trucks, and then we've got the lovely train in the background. Look at that. That's a beautiful view, isn't it? Bit of water accumulating under the bridge there. Turn that off, you're ruining the view. I like it. I don't care about this. I mean, it's going to be busy, isn't it? It's going to be busy. There's a lot of people moving in and out. It's a lot less busier than it has been. We are possibly, at the end, going to have some sort of motorway running around the edge here. Are they building right up here? Near this track? They are. Oh, is anybody actually picking up from there? What have you got here? Yeah, I didn't assign this. This is interesting. It's actually taking some grain. Well, I mean, if you can access the grain, the logs are all here. I, I might do that, you know. Just choose your own adventure there. Yeah, because they've got multiple uh, things, haven't they? Uh, multiple compartments. Yeah, you do that. I like that idea. Yeah, as long as there's not a build-up back here. Where are we? Where are we? No, look at that. It's perfect. They're dropping a bit of food on that one, a bit of food on that one. I think for now that's acceptable. They're not full by any stretch of the imagination. But we may need uh, more trucks on here. There we go. That answers that, doesn't it? Yeah, we're not even close to it. Is this already up to speed? It's already up to 400. Right. Now that this has been running a little while, what we can do is check the line rate. Yeah, we've only got a rate of 261. So we'll throw a couple more trucks on. If we look at that... Ooh, that was weird. Ooh, I like the lights there, though, once we've got the shadow not dancing. Manage vehicles. Let's... Uh, oh, I, yeah, we've only got... What's that, four on there? I'll stick a couple more on. There we go. Two more trucks on there. We'll see what that does for the line rate. What is it estimating? It's almost perfect. I'll tell you what. One for good measure, then. There we go. Have another one on there. That will throw you over the top, and then you can wait till full. And then if it's too backed up, we get rid of one. A bit more capacity. Here comes one of our trucks. I'd like to take a ride on one of these today. Towards the end. But I'm already overrunning. I don't know why I say that I'm going to fit in like a bajillion cab rides at the end of these videos. I'll tell you what, though. Ideas. What would you like to see? Maybe on Thursday we'll have a, a compilation of rides that I'll put together a nice little video. I would like to know what you would like to see cab ride wise first. I know there's still a lot of work to do. Let's go and check on our tippers because you said you were and you might have forgotten. Yeah, there we go. We're miles over. Let's sell a bunch of these. We do not need that many at all. Might as well sell you. You're not required. Well, that's going to save us uh, a little bit of cash, isn't it? I think that should do it. Let's see what the survey says. 183. I might have taken a few too many off. How much you've got on you? You're not even close to being full. No, that should be fine. This is estimation. is never the most accurate. We'll check back on that. There's another truck coming up. That should be fine. Is that another one? No, that's that's one of the logging trucks. Another logging truck there. Another one there. Have we overcooked the logging? Possibly. I don't know. We've got to play catch up anyway. We can always take it away later. There we go. Driving around our little road here. We could even put a little fence around here, couldn't we? Or well, especially down here where there's a bit of a cliff going on. Oh, before I do, I would love to sort out this junction. It's rough as potatoes. That's not the saying. Let's tidy that up. It doesn't need to continue to dip here. We could have that bit very, very straight. Although, there's our old tarmac. Take it back to, say, there. And then go flat and straight from here. What do we need? We need our country road grand. We'll get... Ooh, not, not uh, straight. Just want flat. 
I would like it to connect in a little better. Uh, is it possible? I think that looks better, don't you? That's much smoother. Look at that. It looks like we meant to do it on purpose. One thing the uh, Sunset mod does, official episode. There you go. For fans of the official episode, uh, it, it does some weird things with shadows if your smoothing isn't quite up to scratch. You'll see the uh, little bits of texture there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Not bad. You have to spend an eternity doing that, getting it right. So I'm not going to do it now. What you're supposed to do was make a fence for us. We don't need to pause it now. We've got the road fixed. Hopefully it hasn't messed them up too much. There we go. Nice and smooth. I'm going to go with the barrier. Yeah, that should do, shouldn't it? Just a little barrier. Or we could have some yoldy fence work. Yoldy fence work. Let's go with that. Uh, we can start there. Uh, would that be the right way round? I think it would be more that way round. With the posts facing in. Now we've got to follow it around. We'll get it right on the edge of the tarmac that we laid down. Or asphalt. Uh, we want it to curve, don't we? Follow the curve round nice and gently. Big old sections of post. Oh, I like it. That's added to it already, hasn't it? Kind of beautiful. Uh, yep, get that up there. Keep that going. We can cut in a little bit onto the tarmac there. Now we've gone a bit wobbly. Let's go for some line down here. There we go. And then we'll switch back to curve once we hit the curve down here. Now that's going to look beautiful. All the way down. And then we'll end it somewhere like... Oh, that can go straight. We'll end it somewhere like that. And we'll finish. See how that looks now. Oh, yes. There we go. There we go. I mean, I could have straightened it out, but it's a rickety old fence, isn't it? That will stop them big arctics from rolling down the hill. It's the thought that counts. It looks all right, that. I like it. I'd like to do something up here, guys. Uh, probably not today. I'd like to detail this up, like send it out back. I don't know if we've got any mods uh, that cut down trees. So we've got some, like, clearing down here with some wood. That's my plan. We'll see what we can do. Guys, the timing is impeccable. Our sawmill is going for its upgrade. Look at that. As long as... <laughs> I say that. Shipment's hovering. As long as it stays in the 300, we're all right. It's, it's going to take a little while. I'll be playing the date next time around. I wanted to check on all of what happened, all the new stuff. We're going to need to adjust these trains as well to have new things. I'm trying to stay here so we can see it upgrade. Come on. How close are we? Oh, that's disappointing, Grand. Build everybody up and then it all goes pear-shaped. Pear juice. No, leave the fruit juices alone. Right. Well, saying that, I'd like actually pin that. Maybe it'll start. Is that pin? That's rename. Pin it. Do we have a truck pulling in? Oh, look. There's uh, one of our new freight trains. They're much shorter, aren't they? You're still picking up. There goes our steam train. We don't see you very often. We need all Swissified signals up here where we can fit them in. I love this. I'm so glad we kept that in. It's a bit busy now, isn't it? In fact, are you super full? You are maximum full. I don't know how we deal with that because that's not available and I don't want to unlock all mods because it makes a real mess of everything. Uh, mainly trying to select trains. Well, here comes another logging train. That's good news. These need doing. I will do that. I think what I'll do before next episode is replace all of these uh, to be the the new wagons because there's an awful lot of them and it took a lot longer than I was expecting could we drive up here go on you're so close as long as you don't start dropping they'd have to come down here but that's not happening oh we've got a super old truck there what is that doing grain and food haulage that's supposed to be a little van but it's uh, we haven't got that yet could we change you let's see what could we have you as Maybe one of these that are just delivering something into town. Cargo Care. LKW Walter. Yeah, what don't we have? 
Do you know, I don't think we have any of those. We'll just change them for those. There we go. We'll put those on. We will need to get rid of a few. Uh, he's just coming around now. Hey, cargo care. That works, doesn't it? I mean, ooh. That was close. How are we doing here? It's safe to say we have one too many trucks on here. So we can knock some of these back. Beautiful, isn't it? This point in the game is easy mode, as far as I'm concerned. The sooner you get to the later dates and you get the better equipment, the game just becomes easier. Which is why I like to pause the date, obviously, because we have to struggle a little longer. But we do get to see more going on, don't we? We get to see more of the vehicles per era. So yeah, that's what I like. But we're, we're definitely in easy mode land now. Our money should start going up, providing we keep an eye on our lines. This sunset looks lovely. As long as you just get it right. It's more of a morning mist, it looks like to me. Should we have a cab ride? Because I think I've messed this up. I could fast forward it. Let's see. There we go. We've got a lot in there. It's delivering as long as it ticks into here. Will you upgrade before us? There it goes. It's back up. We've got it on fast forward, so it'll give our lines a little bit of uh, time to update. I never noticed all this before. Give our lines a little bit of time to bed in. I think we're going to do it, guys. I haven't let you down. Upgrade. Go. Do it. Did it do it? What changed? Absolutely nothing. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm glad we waited. Oh, dear. Well, anyway, it did upgrade. Trust me. I think. Yeah, that's upgraded. There's nothing above that. It's doing maximum now. 400. This line here will start to make quite a bit more money. What do we want to ride on? One of our freight trains, I think. Because we've changed those, haven't we? Oh, we've got a completely new layout for our coal train. Is that one now? With a new consist? We can, we can judge it. <laughs> we can judge it and see how it does. Guys, we're on board our uh, re460 don't know might be close there's our old uh, gondolas that are heading off that way are they gondolas i don't know i keep wanting to call them hoppers not gondolas we're carrying hoppers i'm fairly confident i'm sure you guys will let me know i have moved us into the engineer seat or the second man seat we've got a shorter train we can potentially do 140 in this one, not 160, because we're limited by the engine itself. Let me know in the comments if we should swap the the pulling power for this. I don't think we've got much choice at the moment. Perhaps there's something coming out later. There are some other non-Swiss trains, I believe, that we could put on here. But I'll leave that to you. What do you reckon, guys? That was uh, a bit of tidying up. Next time out, what are we doing? Oh, we've got loads to do. There's uh, no shortage of things to do. Perhaps we can try and figure out a little commuter uh, to run from Sionsier into Frutigen and then up to Speed. We could always bypass Frutigen on the way back. I'd prefer not to, but then the Mountain Railway does cater for that, that stop. It's a thought. It's a thought whether we do it. I'm not sure. I'm just admiring. This is, yeah, this is the new way round, isn't it? I'd like to see if we even get up to 140. So let me know. Well, don't, you don't need to let me know. I'll, I'll be watching. <laughs> as soon as I hit mute on the mic, I continue watching it and enjoying it myself. Right, guys, enough waffling from me. I'll leave you with this. I don't know how much of a cab ride there'll be. Hopefully we'll get to go through the tunnel at a decent speed and maybe we'll get passed by a couple of express trains and off up we go there we go on to our new bypass line that's coming up so until next time take care